10 and it's the battle of the leaderboard because we have got the overall leader at this stage bruce panel he's in red unbeaten and also in here we have les collins and dave jessup are equally in second place and billy sanders who's back in fifth place on the leaderboard so heat 10 panel law of the big guns panel really uh, has looked every inch a class world champion and now he's got the inside grid which has uh, been uh, very fortuitous for most of the riders who have landed in there. Second in grid two, it is Les Collins who has been a rare battler. We've seen him come from the back, and he's one of the very few riders who has come from the back here at White City this afternoon. Grid three has Sanders. Jessup's on the outside. And one or two of the lads have been getting out of grid four a bit lively too. So let's watch heat ten. Panel Collins, Sanders, Jessup. Unique view from high at the back. So away they go, and it is Panel has made a tremendous start. Panel leads it. Second place, the battle's on between Jessup coming around the outside and Les Collins and at the back it is Sanders. And it is Jessup who's stringing up inside Bruce Panel and the crowd are on their toes because Panel, I'm sure, wasn't expecting that attack. And Jessup seems to have caught it with his trousers down. Oh, my word. Super Speedway from DJ catches his old rival there. Panel's in second place. He's lost his helmet colour, but it is Panel. Third is Collins. And uh, David Jessup, who's had a desperately unlucky season. We wonder if that's all behind him, and this is the turning point. Let's hope so, because he certainly deserves it. They're over into the last lap now. There's Jessup fine picture when he's in full pride. Panel is second. The battle's on for third place between uh, Les Collins, who I think is going to hold on, and Billy Sanders. And he turned and has given the crowd really something to cheer him out. Jessup wins it. Second place, the world champion panel. Third is Collins. And that really has opened up this overseas final. Dave, quite a little battle there with Bruce Pennell. Yes, obviously uh, a very good first corner and uh, obviously very pleased to be standing here with a win under my belt. Perhaps you'd like to see it again? Well, obviously I've come off the start uh, second to Bruce, but coming out of the corner I see him sort of going a slightly wide, obviously thinking I might be around the outside or somebody else, and she seemed to come super down the straight and, you know, I can't ask for anything more. She had uh, plenty of speed there to get up alongside Bruce and then I think I just had the best position in the corner. And I think Bruce was probably taken a bit by surprise, really, and, well, you know, that's the art of the, art of the victory, is a bit of a surprise. No problems with your leg, then? No, no, that's perfectly OK now, thank you. You've got eight stitches in it? Yeah, it was, it was more trouble playing golf the other day, so it's, uh, it's perfectly OK today. <laughs> OK, Dave, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Three rides completed, and it's uh, really very, very tight among the top scorers. The lead shared now jointly by Dave Jessup and Bruce Panel on eight points apiece. Then we have uh, Kenny Carter, Les Collins, and Larry Ross on six apiece. Phil Crump and Alan Graham on five each. And as we look towards the ten qualification places, this is where it gets tight because we have four riders, Andy Graham, Ivan Major, Billy Sanders and Kelly Moran, all on four points. That makes 11 riders, so something really has got to give in the latter part of this meeting. Heat 14, Dave Jessup, the co-leader after three rides. He has eight points and his three rivals here, there's Jessup. His three rivals here are all involved in the dogfight for the qualification places, the final qualification places for Vetlanda and the Intercontinental final on July the 23rd. Kelly Moran has four, Andy Graham, British champion, not uh, anywhere near as happy here as he was at uh, Brandon Coventry in the British final. He has four, and Ivan Major, the old warhorse, by no means out of it yet. He has four, looked uh, well out of contention in his first ride, but he's perked up two second places. We have seen how he can make good use of the dirt and the drive on the outside. We'll watch for Jessup getting away from the inside. And we'll watch for Major swooping from the outside. Here we go, heat number 14. And it is a bit tight into the first corner. There's Jessup in second place. It is Moran, and Moran almost runs over the top of Dave Jessup. And here comes Major around the outside. And that wasn't a bad bit of race reading. Jessup on the inside, Moran ducking, diving, weaving, trying to find a hole. He's now in second place, he's gone past Major. And at the back it is Andy Graham, the British champion, and this uh, isn't glad tidings for his cause. 
looks a lot like the old Dave Jessup and uh, very few people in the world of Speedway won't be glad to see that because DJ has had some terrible luck with engines, with injuries, with little niggles. It uh, really should not blight any professional sportsman. Here's the rare old battle for the last uh, point and it looks like Andy Graham has slid in soft in Asia and showing no mercy to the old timer there. Vital points, and uh, we were in the right place at the right time to capture it. Still Jessup a long way clear. Kelly Brown is second. There's Jessup. So he moves up to share the lead with Bruce Pennell after four rides each. Second was Kelly Moran. Third was Andy Graham and uh, Ivan Major. Or well, maybe Jess ran out of a little steam. Most important point. So they've only got one ride left apiece, and we really have got an intriguing situation developing here at White City. The leaders, though, quite clearly, Dave Jessup and Bruce Pennell on 11, Kenny Carter on 9, Larry Ross on 7, Les Collins, Sean Moran and Kelly Moran on 6 apiece. Now, all of those really should be booking their place for Sweden, but just look at this battle developing for the other qualification places. All these riders, Peter Collins, Phil Crump, the Graham brothers, Chris Morton, Billy Sanders and Dennis Segalos on 5 apiece, and at this stage, only one ride. Phil Collins really is out of it. Heat 18 and still a multiplicity of questions to be answered. On the inside, we're going to have Alan Graham needing points desperately for qualification. Next to him, Dave Jessup in blue, and he needs a win really to force at least a runoff with Bruce Pennell for the title. Grid three, Phil Collins out of contention, and on the outside in yellow, Kenny Carter, who really has come good in his last two rides. side from the inside Graham and on the outside Kenny Carter Carter will make his move around the boards he seems to have the drop he goes clear second place just inching ahead it is Alan Graham ahead of Jessup in the blue helmet color so Carter in front Graham is second Jessup is third and Dave Jessup will have to get up really if he wishes to maintain his hopes of landing this crown Carter though going clear and here comes Dave Jessup through on the inside of Alan Graham, a masterly move. We saw him make his move there against uh, Bruce Pell and Graham almost rode over the top of him on the pit corner there. No holding uh, Carter up front. Jessup moves into second place. We wonder if that will be enough to land the crown for him. Carter, England's crown prince, many feel will be Bruce Pennell's greatest rival in Los Angeles in the final. Well, he made an indifferent start to the meeting, but he really has looked sharp in his last three rides, comfortably containing Dave Jessup into the last two corners. Carter will win it. Jessup will finish second. We can only conjecture if that's going to be enough for him. Third place, Graham. It might be the end of the World Championship for him. And there is Kenny Carter. And the tyke on the bike really is looking good. to heat 19 it's a fascinating situation because we have four americans bruce panel there in the blue helmet color now he needs to win this race to win the meeting outright and the 1000 pound first prize check but he's got three americans in here all his compatriots dennis Segalos, kelly and sean moran and they're all in fighting for places now there's harry oxley the American promoter of the world final. Ideally, of course, the Americans want as many of their countrymen through as possible. And we can but speculate if maybe Pennell will put country first and try to help his lesser scoring compatriots through here. So let's have a look at that lineup. On the inside, it's Segalos. Next to him, Bruce Pennell. With three, Kelly Moran. Outside, Sean Moran. You can see the politics and the drama that might unfold here panel well he needs a win to win the title but will he put his country first we've seen team riding and uh, this kind of tactics by the eastern europeans before and uh, we can really but conjecture what's going through bruce panel's mind there uh, as he lines if lines up if Segalos wins it, it could make sure of his place and away they go and it definitely looks as though panel is putting the country first. Now that's a gesture. Segalos is in front. In second place, it's Kelly Moran. In third place, it's Sean Moran. And Bruce Pennell can hardly be taking less interest. And that really is quite a gesture by Pennell.
because he's throwing away the chance of £1,000 first prize and the overseas title. And they're losing their helmet colours all over the place. Let's just try and read them as they come by. It's Sigalos up front is number three. Number 13, Kelly Moran is second. Sean Moran is third and Pennell is at the back. And this is top tactics. It's debatable. You can argue about it. But we've seen it from the Eastern Europeans and now the Americans are doing it as well. Over the line for the last lap. And they're doing their popping wheelies. It's exhibition stuff. The Moran brothers look as though they're going to go over the line together. There's Sigalos in front, pedals way at the back doing wheelies. It's his pure circus, it is theatre. Sigalos wins in second place was Kelly Moran. Third was Sean Moran. Pedals at the back and the White City crowd are not over keen on those kind of tactics. Absolutely no question that uh, there was some collusion there. Pedal, you might say, has made the supreme gesture, or you might say that's gamesmanship to the nth degree. Well, Bruce, fair to say that was uh, tactics, if ever there was a case of tactics. <laughs> well, it's just uh, what happens, I guess, you know, and... My countrymen mean a lot to me, they're my friends, and I wanted to see them get through, not only for for uh, America, the American final, but for Speedway. I think uh, we need we need as many guys as we can, Americans, in that final, and I was in a, con in a comfortable position, and uh, I'm sure everybody doesn't, I'm sure, I'm sure sorry everybody feels the way they do about it. Now the crowd are giving you a tremendous amount of stick. Yeah, that's the way it goes, I guess, you know, there's uh, ups and downs in Speedway, but... Uh, I'm afraid I, I did it for the sake of Speedway, just so I could to get as many Americans in the thing as I can. That's, that's all, it's, that's you all I can say. You can see the British fans feeling, presumably, that it's a bit unfair on some of the British riders. Well, we only have four American riders in here, and there's uh, quite a few other British British riders in here, as well as other riders, you know. What can I say? I'm, you know, I did the best I could today, and I got through. It's the main thing. i got to worry about my next round. You don't feel you're just a bit naughty. Yeah, a bit. Well, the world champion admitting that it was a bit naughty, but uh, the referee, he's a Dane, Shell Christensen, says he is taking no action, and that's going to lead to a few inquests as well, because there is a regulation which says a rider can be excluded for not making a bona fide effort to race, and they're going to be talking about that one for a long, long time to come in Speedway. Still, the Eastern Europeans get away with it. Why not the Americans? The lineup for heat number 20. And it does make uh, life a bit interesting because all four are in with a shout of a qualification place. Les Collins has six points. He's the uh, better place rider at this stage. Phil Crump is in grid two on five points. Ivan Major, well, is it the swan song, the final swan song for the old war horse? Well, he's uh, made as many comebacks as Frank Sinatra, and he's just as professional a performer. He's in grid three, and on the outside is Chris Morton. And Morton has only a total of five points. And whoever finishes last here, by our calculations, is out. So they just got to really battle for that last place. It terribly is terribly tight and terribly tense. And it's been a meeting which really has been a rich in drama. So the vital heat 20 with all four riders desperate to win and even more desperate not to finish last. Away they go and into the first corner it is Crump who shows. Crump leads it. We look for Major around the outside. This is his favourite move and he's going up around the outside. Almost gets into second place. Does so. It is Crump in front. It is Major second. It is now Les Collins moving through on the inside of Ivan Major. And remember the slide rules are coming out now. All these riders in contention for the final qualification places, Trump looks comfortable and Major is riding with all the pride and passion of a career which has taken him to the very tentacles. He's on four points, remember. Six points if he finishes second. It might not just be enough to get through. Les Collins is on six already and Collins is making life very hectic for him. And into the picture now comes Chris Morton. He has five points, so he really must get up. He cannot finish last. He knows if it's going to be a last placing he's out of the World Championship for 1982. 
into the last lap. Still crumb clear. He's going to be happy with that. Major will have to sweat. We'll have to really work out the calculations. In third place, it is Les Collins. Chris Morton still at the back. And into the last two corners. Crumb's going to go forward. Ivan Major is in the trouble. And we make it as it is because Collins is held on for third place. So by our reckonings, Phil Crump goes forward. Ivan Major goes out. And Les Collins must go in a runoff for one of those last places. And so the crucial runoff for the last two places in the Intercontinental Championship final of the world title. On the inside, Peter Collins right next to him, brother Les in blue and Sean Moran on the outside in white. And the Collins brothers for sure will be looking for each other to try and keep this forceful American out here. It's Les on the outside and Sean has passed Peter Collins on the inside and is chasing hard after Les Collins. And we remember that Les Collins came out of the World Championship at this stage. There's no question that the Collins boys are looking for each other. Peter almost squeezed through again then. And again, he'll try the inside when he's through and almost takes Moran's wheel off. Well, the real battle is for second place. Les Collins will look back, I'm sure, for big brother Peter. The crowd naturally are on the side of the Englishman after the blatant gamesmanship of the Americans. Peter Collins now must hold on for another lap and a half. And Sean Moran looks as though he's almost trying to go over the handlebars as he strives to get by. And Peter, I think, might have left a little bit of a hole there. There's Les Collins in front. The crowd are on their feet. Peter Collins, a bit of a veteran now. He's just got to hold on around these last two bends. Les Collins is going to take it looking back. Peter Collins just holds on. So we've got two more English riders through. There's Les. Peter uh, really had to turn on all his experience. The boys are jubilant. And so too are the crowd. And Sean Moran very gallantly congratulates them. And that really, again, was a tremendous run up. Oh. Well, there's the one, two, three. Dave Jessup wins it. Uh, Kenny Carter is second. Bruce Pennell looking anything but happy is third. And though the English lads are happy and smiling, it's going to be a meeting remembered perhaps more for the controversy than the style and class of the racing. Well, there's Bruce Pennell, the rider who left Wembley as everybody's favourite, the darling of the English crowd, with his back to them, and now feeling and knowing what it's like to get the booze of a British crowd as well. That really is an unhappy sight. He put his country first, but uh, the British crowd are not at all...